How's everybody doing? I'm going to make another tutorial. And this one's called Configuring OpenWRT as a bridge. Some people call it a simple bridge. I'm going to call it a bridge. And uh, I done made two other uh, videos, but these were client bridges, you know. And some people might say, You're making another video on bridge. Have you got bridge on the brain? And I, and I, I said, Well, yes, I do. I have got bridge on the brain. But before we uh, continue, let's look at some pictures. I like looking at pictures. It's really fun looking at uh, pictures. Alright, now this is a network. And you got two routers. This cloud thing up here is the internet. This is the modem. And this right here is the primary router, master router. And uh, looks like it's set up as an access point. It is wired and wireless. You've got a printer, a PC, and a wireless laptop all connected to this primary router. But for some reasons, these PCs, three PCs, either distance or they can't run Cat5 to them, so they set up another router. Now this router could be set up as a client bridge. If it's a client bridge, then it's getting all this IPs from this primary router. And it's one big network. Or they could have it set up as just as a bridge. Or a simple bridge. Bridge. Where the primary router is given the wireless WAN and IP but the DHCP server is still working the only thing this primary router is supplying IPs to this network over here and to this wireless WAN but that's when the net comes in and 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 the WAN port goes to doing its thing everything behind the WAN on this router cannot communicate with the network over here on a simple bridge. If it was a client bridge, you would just have one DHCP and it was giving IPs to all everything. But on just a bridge, the only thing you're getting is internet. And everything behind the wireless WAN got to have its own DHCP server. So, you know, it's going to have a different subnet. Let's go in this a little bit further. Okay, this is more like a, a client bridge setup. You know, you got this right here's your access point. These two PCs are wired to the LAN. And it's got a wireless signal coming over here, and they call into this a WET, which is a wired Ethernet transceiver. And this right here, the signal is a wireless, a wireless setup called a client bridge. And all of them are getting their in, their IPs from the access point. And everything is one big network. As you can see, all of them's got the same subnet. 192.168.1. 192.168.1. 192.168.1. And even the uh, IPs on the routers themselves has got 192.168.1. Everything is one big these computers can communicate with these PCs and vice versa 
and it's just one big network and when my uh, my other two is setting you up like this as a client bridge but now I'm just going to set up a bridge or a simple bridge now this right here is a just regular bridge setup you got access point and that's where you get IPs from from this computer these two wire computers are getting their IPs from this access point also this right here ought to say WAN but it's saying WLAN but really it's, it's, it's given IP to the WAN I want to show you that when I get it set up and once it gets the IP to the WAN wireless WAN then you know the NAT comes in and 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 the WAN port starts acting like a WAN port. Everything behind that WAN, these two PCs right here, cannot communicate with these PCs over here. The only thing they could get is internet. So this right here, this network right here, can communicate with each other. These two compute computers can communicate with each other but they cannot communicate with the PCs over here and vice versa. Now, if you're behind this WAN port, you might not like these guys over here. The only thing you like is their internet, and that's all you want, depending on why you want it like that or not. You don't want a big network. You just want this network over here and just communicate with these two computers you do, but you cannot communicate with these computers over here. Because the NAT and the WAN port is not going to let you. But it is going to let in internet. The AP is going to be using this IP address to the WAN to deliver internet wirelessly to this bridge. And then this, this WAN port is going to hand it off to the LANs and supply internet to these two PCs but the DHCP server on this access point is going to be working it's handing out IPs also the DHCP server on this bridge is going to be working too and it's only going to be working one way to the lands it's not going to work backwards through the WAN because the NAN ain't going to allow it the WAN port ain't going to allow it to go reverse like that you know everything is separated right here everything is split down this right here is one network and this is another network also the IPs are in a, in a, in a, in a different subnet 192.168.2 these are 192.168.1 but this right here is convenient and is fast if all you want is internet, then this is a good way to do it, you know. Somebody might say, well, if all you want is internet, why don't you just run some cat fiber to that AP over there? Well, you can't always run cat five all over the place. You might, you might have, you know, distance might be a factor. Plus, you might not, that people allow you to drill holes in the wall and, and put Cat 5 and run it along the, you know, living, living room floor. Or have it hung down from the ceiling. Or you might have to go through a concrete wall. Knock a hole in the concrete wall and run Cat 5 through it, you know. However it is, if you want internet and there's really is inconvenient to run Cat 5, and you want internet, this is a convenient way of doing it. And it's, it's pretty quick and very simple. I'm going to show you all. It's very, very quick and simple. Very easy. Okay. Let's get started. I'm going to have to... 
I'm gonna have to reset this router. Y'all hold on, let me reset this router. I should have done that, but I forgot to do that. Let me let me reset it right quick. Perform reset. Okie dokie. Okay, let's give it a little time. Let it erase everything. I got. I should. I should have reset the router. Okay, the router's rebooting. All right, we're almost there. Okay, that's it. It's back up. We're running now. All right. Let's see. If we got internet. Only thing I, I'm working with the uh, D Links DIR six fifteen. And it's just sitting there with a Cat5 cable coming out of LAN port 1 connected to my computer's Ethernet. LAN. And I have no internet. No, no kind of internet supplied to this router. Okay, let's continue. Let's, this is pretty simple. As you can see right down here, it says no internet access. Oh, no. No, and uh, okay, the DHCP server in this router has the uh, DHCP server is 192.168.1.1, and the default gateway is uh, 192.168.1, and my IP is 192.168.1.17. So all that's working, but I have I am not getting getting no internet yet. So let's continue. Let me show y'all how easy this is. I'm not getting no internet. I don't need to diagnose the problem because I know what the problem is. Okay, you log into the router. It's 192.168.1.1. And I have, uh, let's see, I got a DHCP server. Cleared everything out of this firmware and set it back just like it was fresh when I just put it on there. You know, I reset it. Uh, first thing you need to do is log in, give it a, go to the administration, and give it a password. Alright, give it a password, save and apply. Alright, and we just gave it a password. Okay, now we go to network. Go to Wi-Fi. Hit the scan button. All right. I just been working on my open WRT repeater, and I'm gonna do another tutorial so y'all can. I'm gonna be doing uh, using uh, Win SCP to set up my next one, and it's gonna be quick and fast, and hopefully a lot easier than my other one. It's sort of complicated. I was using the UCI to do it, uh, and I know it's pretty hard to follow. But with HC, uh, with with Win SCP, I know it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, this is the router that I'm going to be getting my internet from. The only thing I'm going to be getting from this router is internet. This is a router in the house. Click the Join Network button. Okay, uh, right here is where you put in your access key. Okay, you don't mess with this. Leave this WAN. Uh, create sign firewall zone. Leave this exactly the way it is. WAN. 
click submit and only thing we're going to do right here is we're going to turn the transmit power down to 22 that's about and that's uh 22 uh dbm is 158 milliwatt that's, i don't really want to get it no more than that because if you go all the way to a thousand milliwatt it's not good on your radio and it could burn it out 158 milliwatts what i've been running all my routers ever since i've been running them i had no problem with the radios overheating or chip going bad or anything like that okay now that's the only two things we only we logged in gave it a password put the key in and change the transmit power click save and apply okay radio's on everything looks good close Lucy out let's sit here and twiddle our thumbs a little bit okay just look at this icon down here this uh, land icon just take a good old long look at it let's just sit around and wait a little bit Let's twiddle our thumbs. If you don't twiddle your thumbs, you can if you want to. I ain't gonna stop you. Okay. Isn't this fun? This is just awesome, ain't it? This is just super awesome. I mean, like this is just wow. Okay, let me check something. Okay, let's log back into the router. Okay, let's go to Wi Fi again. Okay, let me just let me double check this again, folks. Okay, now let's twiddle our sit around, twiddle our thumbs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. That's what it was. I didn't have my access key right. If you mess up and, and uh, just miss just miss with one letter or number on your access key, it will not work. What I what we was waiting for? I was waiting for the main router in the house to give the W WAN uh, an IP. Okay. 
currently connected all right I got internet access okay let's see if we got internet let's go to the uh, open WRT site and right there it is we got we got internet about internet okay we got internet there and this right here is the uh, forums uh-huh okie dokie you brought my stuff Yeah, okay. Okay, the wife screwed me up on my uh tutorial. Okay, let's log back in uh the uh router right quick. I want to take a look at the interface. Okay, let's let's go to the interface. If you look right here, here's the LAN. We didn't do nothing to it. This is the WAN. We didn't do nothing to it. There's you know the WAN six. Didn't do nothing to it. This right here is what we collect. We created. We created this interface. We went to the uh, Wi-Fi, and what we did in there created this interface. Uh, this is the W. W WAN and it's connected to you know the client TP link 143 ND and this is it and it's up and working okay that's set up for the WAN and that's it that's all we got to do that's it all the internet's coming through this WWN. Okay, now let's. Now, th now this right here, we didn't turn off the DHCP server. The DHCP server is still working. Uh, we're getting our DHCP server at the. Uh, IP address 192.168.1.1 and IP is still 192.168.1.117 let's see if the DHCP server is functioning properly now I'm gonna hook up to another router and it, it, it is a client bridge router my main one for the shop and I'm gonna whoop that didn't take all day at all the main router in the house which is DHCP server now is 192.168.022 and it gave it a IP address of 192.168.0.117 okay now we're gonna hook it up to the bridged router the one we just got done configuring and let's see if the DHCP server is giving an IP And that didn't take all day either. The DHCP server uh, and the router that uh, we just configured, the DHCP server worked perfect. Uh, gave it an IP of 192.168.1.117. And that's it, folks. Double check see if we've got some internet. And that's it. This is a uh, router is set up as a bridged router or some people call them a simple bridge and it's very quick and easy to set up and I'm going to be doing another uh, tutorial and this right here is going to be set up as a as a bridged repeater and I'm going to be doing another one after that I'm going to be calling it a client bridge repeater and I'll be showing y'all what the difference is so I hope y'all learned something 
Y'all have a great day and 